So this really does affect you. Multiple events in one day, if you have a double header or if you're running the, the 3200 in the morning and the 1600 relay in the afternoon, whatever it is for a long day, um, you've got this window for refueling. The first 30 minutes after exercise is critical. Okay, You get done with your soccer game, you guys. First 30 minutes after you're done, you've got to make sure that A, you get hydrated, and B, you get carbohydrate back into you. Because the muscles that want to store it back, the blood flow is up, and the enzymes that help to pack it back are really active. They're like, give me some carbs. I want to put it in there, okay? And if you don't give it to them, it isn't going to do it, all right? We have to grab the wild players as they're leaving and make sure that they have shakes and make sure that they've got um, uh, snacks, that they have other things. We, the training staff for the pro teams all over the place, whether it's the Timberwolves, the Lynx, Vikings, whatever it is, we make sure that these athletes get stuff because then they turn around the next day and they want to practice and play hard. So after 30 minutes, all right, the next hour and a half is critical. And I'm not saying grab a sandwich after you get done playing football. God no. I mean, who wants to eat that? You couldn't make me eat a sandwich after I'm done playing hockey. But I'm thirsty. So a really good thing to have might be a sports drink if they've got that available. All right. Then make an effort within the next hour and a half to go have a meal. All right. When you guys are on your way back from playing in Concordia or playing at St. Ben's or playing at, you know, wherever it might be, uh, Carlton, and you guys probably stop and grab something to eat, I'm assuming, maybe, I'm assuming, make sure that you try to have focus on carbohydrates. Two-thirds of your plate carbs, okay, and a, the other third, that's when you want to have some protein and for sure hit the ice cream machine because you've got to have some of that too, okay. Just a couple quick facts about this. Your muscles can only replace glycogen at 5% per hour. So if you think about a game tonight and a game tomorrow night, let's say it's a soccer game or whatever it might be, you have to know that if, if a game is being played tonight, you may not be fully recovered before tomorrow's game. Um, you maximally replenish your glycogen stores in about a day. So it's really important, especially for two days, if you have a thing in the morning and a thing in the afternoon, there's no way they should be fully recovered by the afternoon. But that recovery time in the morning is really important, setting yourself up for success in the afternoon with hydration and getting a good meal. So I said do it immediately, do it the next 90 minutes, and this is the 0.5 grams per kilogram. What did I say? Sports drink, and then get a good meal. All right? It's the same as. And then make sure you rest. Okay. Now, the other piece to this is you can't think that sports drinks and sports shakes and sports bars work as meals. Because you know what, they cover you for a couple of meals here and there, but man, I, I know people actually live on this stuff and it's just kind of gross. Um, they provide effective, convenient method for you to boost your nutrient needs during training and competition, but they are missing key ingredients, all right? They're in including biochemicals, antioxidants, and fiber, so you can't live on this stuff. So, and it's funny because these multi-million dollar athletes get this stuff for free. They go in the training room and they'll take home Gatorade and they'll take home Gatorade bars and all this other stuff because they don't want to go out to pay for anything. And they make more money than, than all of us in this room will ever make combined, right? Um, but these aren't meals and that's why they have to be directed to have good meals. The same thing goes for you guys. Grab the stuff. It's fine to munch on. It's have, you know, with you here and there and now. But don't forget to eat. And don't forget to eat solid, good, whole foods that you like. Okay? First things first for you. I said breakfast every day. All right? If you eat every three to four hours, you don't have these massive dips in your blood sugar. And the massive dips in your blood sugar mean that you're not really paying attention, right? You're just kind of losing it. You know how you sit in class sometimes and the professor's doing this and you're off over here doing that? Okay, it happened to me a lot in college, and yes, I still made it through. All right? But you don't want these massive dips in your blood sugar, and you don't want them, especially when you begin to exercise. Because what happens when you begin to exercise is you have what's called an insulin response just when you're starting to exercise. And when you start to exercise, if you have this insulin response, you can really dip lowly and not think. Okay, so every three to four hours, make sure that you're eating something. Stay hydrated throughout the day. Walk around with your Nalgene bottles or your SIG bottles or whatever bottle it is that you want. Get enough sleep. We've already talked about that. And please remember that what you do today affects how you play tomorrow. Everything you do builds up for the next day and the next day and the next day. And I love this quote by Hippocrates. We could give every individual the right amount of nourishment and exercise, not too little and not too much, we would have found the safest way to health. Okay? So if that's not McAllister football, that much I know. So. <laughs> 
So that is the long and the short of a general sports nutrition lecture, all right, on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. What I want to do now is give you a couple opportunities to ask questions, to get up and go outside, do whatever it is you want to do. But I'm happy to answer anything, talk about stuff, and please know that Paula and I are going to be working on some stuff specific to sports specific, as well as, like I said, frequently asked questions, ideas for snacks and meals and that type of thing, weight loss, weight gain. We're going to get that on your website in the near future here, okay, on the sports page. So we'll make sure that that works for you. So who's, if you need to go, go. I understand completely. If you guys have questions, ask me. How can I help you? What do you guys want to know? Come on, I wasn't that interesting. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you what. I'm around if you guys have individual questions or stuff that you're wondering about. Otherwise, hey, you guys, thanks for coming. Okay, I appreciate it. All right? Thank you.